I'm here with um, Philip Guadalupe. Yes. Yeah, uh, from Crossman. What do you What do you do for Crossman, Philip? So I'm the the product manager for Crossman. I oversee all the air guns and consumables for uh, for our products. Um, and it, everything mine is pretty much brake barrels. So I'm the guy. And, and do you have a role in developing the new products as well? Yes. So what we do, we we, we take uh, ideas from concept and run them through the developmental process and until we bring them out to market. So today what I have for you guys is the Benjamin Fortitude, which is one of the new products that we're launching this year. Um, what's unique about it, the stock looks familiar because it came off the Maximus. The, it, it is a, a sexy stock right here. Um, so it's a very popular stock. And well, it was sexy enough to cross with the Marauder to yeah. get this rifle. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, but what's u unique about this one it has uh, an onboard regulator. So we took the Maximus platform, beat up the, the pressure, so we got up to 3,000 PSI with this. We have uh, a regulator built inside that's regulated at 1,600 PSI. Um, so with that, you're getting up to 90 shots off of one, one charge. Okay, and the regulator, is that located before the gauge or after? It's located before the gauge. So the gauge will actually give you onboard pressure. Um, so we shrunk the valve down, shrunk up the regulator, and was able to squeeze it in in between and keeping the gauge in the same same spot as that. Yeah. Um, as far as the tube, do you know how big, how much um, cubic inches? It should be pretty similar to the current uh, Maxima Discovery. Um, I don't know the CCs off the top of my head. I want to say it's like 100 and something. Uh, I know the Marauder is 215. So I want to say 135, maybe a little bit more. Gotcha. Um, is uh, this a, a repeater? Yes. So it has uh, a similar breech style to uh, our flagship gun, the Marauder. So it's kind of an in-between between the pistol and the, the Marauder rifle. However, we have it outfitted for the Marauder rifle clips. So you get 10 shots for either caliber. Um, you have that. It's also shrouded in, uh, with the, the integrated sound suppression, similar to the Marauder. Uh, one of the main differences is this one has a 24-inch barrel, the Marauder has a 20-inch barrel. So the Marauder has seven baffle stacks, this has three, but with the longer barrel, the, uh, the lower velocity, it's pretty quiet. So we were shooting at the, the media day uh, yesterday, um, and it was, it was super quiet in the range. Are, are these Crossman barrels, or are they sourced? Uh, they're Crossman-made barrels. So. And now, just to be clear, does the Marauder magazine fit this? Yes. So, interchangeable. Yep, the Marauder Rifle Magazine. Right. So the pistol magazine won't work on this one. No, that's great. Most people have a Marauder. They may have spare magazines, and yep. uh, it's a, that's a nice feature. Thank you very yep. much for not making this buy a different magazine for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, we try to keep it simple. Yeah. As far as the trigger, is this uh, have a lineage with the other guns as well? Uh, yeah, so it's your standard trigger that comes on your Maximus Discovery. Okay. Um, we know people are out there going to sit there and modify it. Uh, they're going to put the Marauder trigger on if they want it. Obviously, you, come, you can put that little plate on it and have it work. Um, just the Marauder trigger, trigger aesthetically didn't look well with this without having some modification to the stock. So, And where is this source? Are they built here, parts from elsewhere? Are they sourced to another uh, location? It's 100% built in America. However, we do source some of our parts globally. What's this going to retail for? Two ninety nine ninety nine, but that's for the gun only. No scope. Okay, and you offer it without a scope, without a pump, just gun only. Yep, just gun only. Um, people are gonna choose what they want to fill it with. Um, we may come out with uh, different variants of depending who picks it up. Sometimes we pair it with the scope. Some, most of the time we don't. Uh, but it's gonna be similar to the Marauder. Just gonna be gun only in the package. You pick your your, your filling solution and you put the optic that you feel comfortable with onto it. Well, I, I like the idea of the gun alone because most of us already have a spare scope and a pump to fill it with and that type of thing. What, what calibers is this coming in? Uh, 177 and 22. So for velocity-wise, 177 up to 950 feet per second with a 177 and 800 feet per second for 22 in lead. Any thoughts of a 25? 
Oh, we've, we've been kicking it around. So uh, we had all this stuff going on just to get everything ready for SHOT Show. Uh, once we get back, we're just getting to the drawing board and uh, see what we can do as far as a 25 cal. Um, obviously, it's not going to get that amount of shots, but we're going to get more of that, that the velocity into it and then uh, see where we can get for a shot count. Well, you got my vote for 25. <laughs> and uh, I think it's great. Uh, we're seeing this is the year of the inexpensive free charge gun, I think. You've got one, Umarex has one, the Diana's. Uh, so this will be interesting to see how it shakes out.